Welcome. This is section 2.1, problem number three. I'm going to work out part of this example, but I'm going to leave the rest for you to do. Once again, if you have any questions, please feel free to email me or stop by my office hours. So this uh, first question, number three, says that we have uh, a point given to us. So this point is uh, P, 2 comma negative 1, and we're told that Q is the point X comma 1 divided by 1 minus X. That's the information we're given. So then uh, part A of the problem asks us if uh, Q is that point, use your calculator to find the slope of the secant PQ correct to six decimal places. So this is part A. Okay, so I'm going to do letter I first. And letter I says that we should use 1.5 as our value for Q. So what I'm going to do then is substitute 1.5 into X. So I get the situation where I have Q with the point 1.5 in for X and 1 divided by 1 minus 1.5. And when I simplify that, I get um, Q is 1.5. And this part over here, when I plug that into my calculator, simplifies to minus 2. So now I have the point P, which is 2 comma negative 1, and the point Q, which is 1.5 comma negative 2. In this particular case, we're asked to find the secant line between point P and Q. So the slope of that secant line is M equals uh, the rise over run. So Y1 minus Y2 divided by X1 minus X2. And in this case, we have minus 1 minus uh, minus 2 divided by 2 minus 1.5. Okay. And when I simplified that in my calculator, I got 2. So the slope of the secant line at uh, between P and Q, when Q is the point evaluated at 1.5, works out to be 2. I'm going to make a little chart uh, to remind us what all these values are. So I, which was 1.5, that corresponds to the slope m equaling to 2. Okay, let me erase. Now I'm going to leave uh, part 2i to you. Let me do 3i. So this is 3i. And 3i is at the value 1.99. So what we're really talking about then is Q evaluated at 1.99 comma 1 over 1 minus 1.99. And that simplifies to Q and then 1.99. And when I type that into my calculator, I got minus 1.0101 and that 01, 01 will just keep repeating. So to find the slope of the secant line between P and Q, when the value for Q is determined by 1.99, I get M and the rise over the run. So this is uh, minus 1 minus minus 1.0101 repeating, all divided by minus, all divided by 2 minus 1.99. And when I simplified that to six decimal places, I got 1.01010. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 6. So again, you have to figure out what double I is, but this is triple I. 
So this is 1.99, and that corresponds to, to six decimal places, M being 1.010101. Okay, let me erase this. I also worked out, and of course you can look in the back of your book, uh, you have to figure out what four is, but I worked out what um, five, I worked out VI, and I found VI to be 0 0.90 nine zero one nine to six decimal places is zero point nine zero nine zero nine one and then VII I also worked out um, or I left sorry I left that for you to work out but I worked out V triple I and V triple I is zero point nine 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 zero zero one okay so you figure out those data points as well so the question in the book then ask us for part b what is our guess of uh, the slope of the secant line it says using the results of part a guess the value of the slope of the secant line to the curve at this point p2 comma negative one and what I see is as the value of the input 2 gets closer to 2 and in VI and in VIII that we worked out, we have these inputs that are getting closer and closer to 2. I see that the output or the slope, the M, is getting closer and closer and closer to 1. So as the value of our input Q is getting closer to two, the value of our slope is getting closer and closer to one. And I see that when I put 1.5, I got two. When I put 1.99, I got something close to one. Uh, for VI, it's uh, uh, 2.1, and I got something kind of close to one, and when I did V, I, 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 the input is 2.001, and I got something close to 1. So my guess uh, for the situation is going to be that the slope m is equal to 1. That's going to be my guess. Okay? So part C says, find the equation... Uh, of the secant of the tangent line to the curve at p two comma negative one. So find the equation of the line. Well, we have lots of ways to finding the equation of the line. I'm going to use uh, y equals m times x minus x one uh, plus y one. That's the one I'm going to use. And so we have m. That's our guess is equal to one. And we have a point, of course we have x1 is equal to 2, and y1 is equal to minus 1. Okay, so we just plug it in. y is equal to m, which is 1, times x minus 2 plus negative 1. And this simplifies to y equals uh, x minus 2 minus 1, which is x minus 3. Okay, so that's how you do uh, section 2.1 number 3. Once again, if you have any questions, please feel free to send me an email, or you can stop by my office hours and uh, we can talk it over. Thank you.